Last updated 1242, October 3, 2017 Ernest Hemingway in 1958. The fictional writing from a 10-year-old Ernest Hemingway has been found safe after Hurricane Irma ripped through Florida last month. The small brown journal was discovered in May by Hemingway scholars Sandra Spanier and Brewster Chamberlain in the archives of the Bruce family, longtime friends of the Hemingways, but was not made public, the New York Times reported. Following the wrath of Irma, the scholars were terrified that just after months of discovering the treasure, it would be lost forever. Nobel Prize winner Ernest Hemingway is seen as one of the great American 20th century novelists. But it wasn't. Read more book review writer, sailor, soldier, spy Ernest Hemingway's Secret Adventures, 1935-1961 Ernest Hemingway's granddaughter tries to save six toad cats from Hurricane Irma, did one of our best authors find solace in Hemingway the eight best travel books of all time Chamberlain, found the journal tucked in a ziplocked freezer bag inside an ammo box with September 8, 1909, written in a black pen. It has now been taken out of hiding. The short story inside details what is likely to be a 10-year-old Hemingway's first piece of fiction writing We are going on a trip to Europe, Spanier suspects the work is likely to be his first piece of fiction. It was thought that Hemingway had written a travelogue of a trip to Ireland and Scotland writing them as letters to his parents appearing as diary entries. As it turns out Hemingway hadn't actually made a trip to Ireland and Scotland as a child or an adult. She said it was really amazing a real landmark piece of writing. The 14-page story told the story of a dead man who returns once a year to rebuild Ross Castle in Ireland and host a nighttime feast. When daylight comes the castle falls in ruins and Adonahue returns to his grave, wrote Hemingway. He went on to say describe a tour of Blarney Castle and the poverty of Ireland. He also wrote about a visit to a stone house with a thatched roof that is very dark inside, and about a pig that runs under the table and the people call him the little fellow that pays the rent. Dink Bruce, who owns the archive, was considering selling the archive as it deserves to be in some place where it can be studied, he said. Stuff.